All right, Lonzo, just first thing for these, these, this road back to back against two Eastern teams. So what, what's that been like? What has stood out for you in the, in the two games? Uh, it's been tough. You know, those two of the best teams in the East. And uh, we're coming out trying to compete. But, um, you know, tonight we just didn't, we didn't have it. When do you start to notice and feel that? And, and if you do feel that, like, like in the first quarter, for example, they're scoring a lot, what's the way to try to counter that? What's the way to try to get back into it? Uh, just got to play hard and play together, to be honest. Um, you know, they came out, you know, hitting a lot of shots, and uh, they kept it up throughout the whole game. Have you noticed anything different in, in playing the team again, like the way that they defended you? Did Wall or Beal do anything differently? Did they show any differently? They guarded me the same way uh, under all the screens, and if they get caught up on it, just blitz it. And what are you noticing when you're looking for that same balance of, okay, when to pass, when to take that step back, if they're playing off you? How, how does that go through your head throughout the game? Yeah, well, when they go over and blitz, it's pretty easy. You know, Brooks open most of the time. And when they go under, this guy hit shots. Coach mentioned mental lapses he thought was really what stood out and, and hurt you guys tonight. You, do you agree? Like, how much did that kind of affect the game? Um, yeah, we had some miscommunication, you know, errors, switches, um, rotations that were off today. Um, Maybe it was just fatigue. I know it's not your, your number one concern, but are, are you thinking triple double at all when, you, when you're having a, a game like that where you're getting rebounds and assists? No, I just do what I can to help my team win. How do you manage to keep your wits knowing with all the hype surrounding every step you take, every, everything is dissected? I mean, everything you do is done, it's publicized. How do you keep your head? Just try to stay balanced. Just like I said, go out there and help my team win. That really focus about me. Um, Spotlight's been on me for a while now. Are you tired of people just dissecting your shot every day and saying you know, I really don't even care to be honest. I know I gotta, you know, just keep shooting and uh, you know, just improve it every game. Is the spotlight different than it was at UCLA or is it or um, it's amplified. It's cause NBA, you know, uh, UCLA was UCLA, but you know, this is pretty much global now. So um, you know, a lot more media, a lot more eyes. You saw Kyrie last night, John Wall tonight. It, is it a blur? I mean, do you do you think like, man, pinch yourself sometime? Like, well, I'm, I'm in this game. No, it's the NBA. You know, you come in knowing it's the best players on the planet, and uh, you know we had two tough games back to back. You kind of wish you could just be given room to grow, and you just know that's not gonna happen. I already know. I live in reality, so <laughs> it's whatever. Lonzo, you uh, face the Bucks next, and Jason Kidd. What do you think of all the comparisons of you your game to Kidd? Um, you know, I'm just grateful for it. You know, he's a legend. I mean, that's enough said. Is there anything that you did try to implement from watching him play in your game? Um, no, nah, he was just, you know, very fun to watch. Uh, went out there and competed every night and um, triple double threat all the time. Yo, Lonzo, I know you're you're good at tuning out a lot of this stuff, but Kyrie had some nice things to say last night after the game. Does it does that get to you? Is that meaningful when, when players are making comments like that? Yeah, it's very meaningful, especially someone of his caliber. You know, Kyrie Irving's one, like I said, one of the best players. And um, for him to say that about me, you know, means a lot. Do you think of Jason Kidd as a son or a net, Mavs? Like, what, what, what was your, like, what did you I mean, when I first think of Jason Kidd, I think of the Nets. Okay. But, you know, uh, you know, he helped every team out. So, I mean, he could just take the team. Did you ever take notice of that he's somebody that struggled with his shot early on in his career, too, and turned out to be one of the all-time best three-point shooters in the league history? Everybody has a different path. You know, uh, you know, when it's your job, you know, it's your, it's your uh, decision to get better every day and work at it every day and uh, just come ready to work and, to do what you can for your team. Luke, what was your overall reaction to this game? How do you think it was uh, lost? Uh, I think we we mentally gave in a little bit. Our, our guys were trying. It's it's hard. I mean, we flew, not to make excuses, but you fly across the country, you play against two of the best teams in the East. I mean, these teams are going to be playing for, you know, competing for Eastern Conference titles later this year. And uh, it's a back-to-back. -back and we got we play a lot of young guys. They're, they're trying to figure out how the, the NBA works and what it's about. And I thought... Physically, they gave us the effort that they had in the tank, but mentally, we weren't there. We, I mean, we gave up 27 points off of our turnovers, um, which we can't do. You're not going to win on the road like that. We weren't making, uh, you know, open shots. We missed uh, 11 free throws. Uh, so there's a lot of things, I think, that mentally we just weren't sharp enough uh, to beat a good team on the road tonight. And, you know, but our guys... With all of that, we was still we, we you know we had it at nine a couple times and we were hanging around right there. We just couldn't uh, knock down any of those shots to really get uh, that momentum fully turned in our favor. What do you try to use to go play another good East team uh, after a day in between? What do you try to get out of these two to to lead into that game? Well, make sure that uh, we're not we're not out here wasting in these opportunities. Like let's learn from this, take the take the whipping we took and get better from it. Let's watch the tape on it. Let's, you know, get off our feet for a day tomorrow. 
um, and come in and ready, ready to be better the next game. And uh, you know, that's all you can do. It's a long, long season. There's going to be ups and downs for every team in it. Whether the, you're the best team or the worst team, you're going you're gonna to go through tough times in this long season. And as a young team, we got to do the best we can to, to learn from, uh, from each game and, and, and take full advantage of the opportunity that, that we have to play some of these young guys. Was the defense better in the second half, or were they just not hitting the shots that were in the first half? No, the defense was better in the second half. Again, the first quarter got off to a, you know, they scored, I think, 37 in the first quarter. We got to we gotta fix that that problem, especially, you know, good teams will find a rhythm with their scoring that freely, you know. So we got to make sure that we do a better job of making them earn buckets and and, uh, and not just giving, giving all the easy ones to everyone out there so that they get in rhythms. Earlier today, John Wall was asked about Lonzo and um, how much pressure he's under compared to what John was under mm -hmm. being the number one pick going to a, a not so great team. And he basically said, "I can't believe it. The kid like they're dissecting him like he's a ten-year veteran." Yeah. Do you feel anything uh, similar that, that that we've sort of like really gone all in on on dissecting his shot, dissecting his foot, whatever it is? Yes. Absolutely. I mean, the guy, he's, he's an incredible player. He's, you know, he's 20 years old. He, he almost had a triple-double tonight. Um, but any time you turn on any sports show, all they talk about is his shot. Like, that's, he's already playing for the Lakers. Uh, so he's got a, you know, he's got a lot more pressure on him than I think anyone has in a long time that's come out from college. Um, but like I've said, I'm I'm happy that I'm th thrilled it's on our team, and he's gonna start making those shots. Um, it's just a matter of time. But he still he makes our team so much better when he's on the floor, even when that shot's not going in. Uh, the way he can push the ball, the way he can make plays on the defensive end, uh, the way he comes in and rebounds from a guard position is uh, is incredible. So uh, is it uh, is it a extra presser? A hundred percent. You know he's he's a he's a rookie. Uh, that gets, you know, as you put it, dissected by everybody. And uh, that is that is what it is. That's probably not going to change. So we're just going to keep working with him, encouraging him to, you know, to make plays and, and get better. And he will.